With nearly 2 billion active users, Gmail is one of the most popular email services. Many users are familiar with the basic features like create templates, add labels to make it easier to find mails, and more. An average user who uses the platform isn't aware of all the cool features it has to offer. Hey there, today we are going to learn some of the best Gmail tips and tricks and once you start using them, trust me, you'll be considered a pro. Let's get started right away. Have you been in a situation where you sent a professional email and then realized you made a mistake of either misspelling the recipient's name or forgot to include any attachments? Well, that's not going to give a good impression of you. In that case, we use the undo feature, which allows us to recall a mail within a set period of time. Now, many people think that the undo feature is available only for a short time. With a little tweak to the Gmail settings, you can recall any email by choosing a time window of up to 30 seconds. I recommend you to set this to 30 seconds because it provides enough time for you to decide. To keep your emails private and secure, Gmail has a special mode called confidential mode. With this, you can set an expiration date to the mails for the recipients. So if they don't open it before the expiry time set by you, this feature will delete that particular mail and the sender will have to resend it. Also, you can add a verification code option that will require the recipients to type in a computer-generated code sent to their verified numbers received via SMS, which will then unlock the mail and the attachments. Do note that this feature will not allow users to share, print or download the mail and its attachments. However, it's worth mentioning that this does not prevent recipients from taking screenshots. We all get an email that has multiple people included in it and with constant activity by other recipients, you know how irritating it can become. If you don't want to receive notifications from that mail, you can mute it from here. This way, you can focus on the important emails and keep your inbox clean. If you want to unmute a message or restore it, in your all mails section, next to the emails, you'll see which ones are muted and which ain't. Once you've unmuted, you can set them to the folders of your choice. While creating a new Gmail account, it is possible that a certain username is taken. Let's say you want to keep your email address associated with your brand name. And if that particular username isn't available, you can add a dot between username and at the rate. After the dot, add in any letter or number. This will make it easier to get a username of your choice. Since this creates a fresh email ID, you have nothing to worry about. Here's a useful tip that you should often use. When you create an account on different websites, it's possible that you subscribe to their promotional mails. While this is not good, you can either use the previous tip to avoid unwanted emails or just like we saw of adding a dot between username and at the rate, in this case, replace the dot with plus symbol, followed by any kind of text or number. After this, create new filters for email alias like all mails received on it will be sent to spam or a folder of your choice. The main advantage of this is you can create unlimited number of email addresses for different purposes and won't occupy your inbox or having to sort them out. Also, if your email address is involved in a data breach, you'll know which website or platform let your information get stolen. In my experience, these are some of the lesser known features and I hope more people will become aware about them. I shall be grateful to you if you can share this video with your circles. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you again next week. Take care and have a good day.